What's up guys, welcome back to another Gen Force video and today I'd like to talk about how to win more in your ranked matches. Playing this game for the last couple of months, I've realized that this game can be pretty hard to win sometimes. Especially when you take into consideration that you have to play against people who like to spam the whole game, people who play very defensive and like to win by letting the time run out, then you have the people who are generally skilled at the game who won't go down easily. I'm going to give you guys some tips on how you can get better at the game and rank up from C4 to A1 in no time. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned guys. So one thing that might seem obvious but is a very critical thing you have to learn is the mechanics of Jump Force. Jump Force is really a game like no other when it comes to mechanics in my opinion. Because it's literally impossible to perfect the mechanics in this game. But if you can grasp some knowledge of the mechanics and even get them down a little bit, you will automatically have the upper hand in an online battle. But the main ones you will have to learn will be your high speed dodge and your high speed counter. If you can get those two down, your rank will skyrocket. This next one I feel like is very important, especially when you are in the neutral game with your opponent and you're trying to land that first combo. That will be knowing when to sidestep and when to backdash an attack. Usually when a player is trying to break your guard with either a charged light attack or a charged medium attack, in most cases you won't be able to evade that attack with a sidestep. But if you backdash at the right time, you can evade it and punish your opponent. A better example, a better example of this would be like evading a grab. We all know how fast grabs are in this game. They're probably just as fast as, as a special in this game, if not faster. Sidestepping will work against a grab if you do it at the last possible second. This will leave your opponent in the grabbing animation, leaving them open for high damage. So knowing when to sidestep or backdash can be key to winning a fight, especially when your opponent has really good defense. The next thing I want to talk about when it comes to winning more matches is knowing what kind of opponent you're playing against. You can usually tell what kind of player you're fighting against in the first 30 seconds of the match. If your opponent isn't good at handling rushdown pressure, you should always go in and immediately grab them every single time. If you notice that your opponent is somebody who tries to use a special move every time you get near them, just be patient and block and punish them for it after the move is over. But then in most cases with this game, you will come across a spammer who will try to use every special in their arsenal instead of just fighting you straight up. Like you guys, I have been in this situation a number of times and the only thing you can really do is try to figure out their pattern of attack. For example, if the opponent is calling in an assist and you dodge the assist, if you immediately rush in there, they're going to try to keep you away from them by using any type of fast special move. Once you have evaded both attacks, you will be free to damage them with no risk. I know that it's frustrating to play people like that, but if you get the win, it will be worth it. My final tip for you guys to win more on rank would be to know when to switch out your character. As you guys know already, there is a huge character balance gap in this game. Certain characters just don't put in enough damage to beat other characters, and you will have to switch out eventually. For example, if you're using Deku against an Aizen or Zoro player, you're already at a total disadvantage in terms of damage and speed. So you have to have that awareness in a battle to know when it's time to switch out your characters, especially if you're the type of player that likes to only use one character for just strictly combos. Overall, switching out your character is a very good thing because not only will that give you a lot of momentum in a battle, but it also allows a player who only likes to use one character to get better with his whole team. Alright guys, that's all the tips I have for you to win more in your ranked matches. Comment down below if this video helped you guys out. Also let me know in the comments what your current ranking is. And subscribe to the channel if this video helped you guys out. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.